And we have wheatgrass here today. Will you just share a little bit about what wheatgrass is, how easy it is to grow? Just okay. a little bit. Yeah, wheatgrass is, is wonderful. Um, it's You can grow it yourself, or so even for people that don't have the time or the space to do it, um, you could nowadays even buy it in the health food stores. But this is really lovely because it wheatgrass is very high in chlorophyll. Um, so it, chlorophyll is a very intense blood builder as well as a detoxifier. So this is something that I really recommend that everyone have daily. Mm -hmm. um, if not wheatgrass, and there are uh, other alternatives, there's E3 Live or, or some kind of algae that you can uh, get into the body, but most of us are very acidic. So this is a really good thing to start your day with. Um, it'll also give you an energy boost. There's so many different uh, uses for wheatgrass, but I highly recommend it. I like to, you can just cut it and then put it through your juicer. You need to extract the, the juice from the fiber because the body can't assimilate the fiber. Um, so this is something I like to have as often as possible on an empty stomach first thing in the morning. And uh, you know, you could even use it topically as well. If you have a skin eruption, you can just take the juice and just put it on. It's great for eczema, it's great for scars. Um, Nice facials as well. Nice. <laughs> so there's there's a lot of different uses. Fantastic. And um, anything else that you want to mention about the um, the raw food diet that you just want to put out there, or the raw food lifestyle? I yeah, I, I'd say that I think it's great. I mean, people are really um, recognizing, you know, the, the benefits of, <laughs> of eating raw. Does your cat eat raw? She loves my, no, she doesn't eat all raw, but she loves my wheatgrass, and I feel like I keep it here, and as I go upstairs, and she's right in it. She's so I, I never have to lift it off. Yeah, cats love wheatgrass. They wow. typically also like avocados, so I try to give her um, as much, you know, greens and, and oh, raw nice. yeah, as possible. But getting back to the raw lifestyle, I think it's wonderful that, you know, there's a real uh, movement and awareness uh, around it. Mm -hmm. However, I do see that um, a lot of raw foodists are not eating a balanced diet. They're really getting stuck in the gourmet. Mm -hmm. They're overeating you know, a lot of the dehydrated foods, the nuts and seeds, a lot of the heavier. And that's typically a, a normal transition mm -hmm. when you're coming off cooked food. But really, these are the superfoods. You know, it's the wheatgrass, it's the living foods, the sprouts, the uh, the leafy greens. Those are the true, uh, the best foods for our bodies. Um, and I see a lot of raw foodists that are just uh, getting caught into the gourmet and not eating fresh anymore. So you can have an unhealthy diet even as a raw foodist. Yeah. And you mentioned superfoods. Do you want to just share what superfoods are quickly? Well, there's uh, different thoughts on that, but in my opinion, the superfoods, the true superfoods, are the foods that you grow yourself, such as sprouts. Those are, you know, first of all, the freshest foods. They're packed with not only enzymes and oxygen and minerals and vitamins and, you know, antioxidants, but they're, the, they're really the freshest. They're also very economical. Um, I know that, you know, the superfoods out there are it's becoming a big business again. It's a multi-billion dollar you know, industry, even with chocolate or cacao, all of that. And so again, the living foods, uh, the superfoods, <laughs> wheatgrass, you know, the algae, yeah. uh, sauerkraut, those are really the, the most important foods for our body. The other stuff, yeah, it's fun to partake in it you know, now and again, but yeah, it's uh, a big business and yeah, Keep I don't really agree with a lot of it. Uh, yeah, that's being marketed out there. Interesting. I wonder because you know you do see, and it's so expensive as well, yes, and yeah. um, and it just seems kind of complex for me. I kind of like it simple. But Absolutely. Um, but yeah. Yeah. It's nice to hear what you think. <laughs> and and your words of wisdom. <laughs> Keep it simple. You know, simplicity really is is the key, and it's so important what you do on a daily basis. Um, and just to, we're all coming from different places, you know, so just start. I just did a show yesterday and people were saying, oh, well, I don't know how to get started. No, no, that's too radical. No, it's not about being 100% raw. It's really about being 100% healthy. And uh, that's my goal, you know, to, to try to educate people and just start with adding more fresh raw foods into your, into your diet.
everyone can benefit. And on that note, <laughs> thank you so much for your time today. Oh, thank you. Natasha, thank you so much for taking the time to speak to Inspirational Transformational TV show today. I admire so much about you, and I especially admire that once you realize the benefits of the living food lifestyle, you've now dedicated your life to helping others incorporate aspects of it into theirs. This gift that you're giving is a true inspiration. I'm really grateful to have met you and really grateful to have had the opportunity to share your story. I know that you'll continue touching lives, so thank you Natasha. Much peace and much love to you.